Hi, it's Thibaut from whatispersonaldevelopment.org and today I would like to talk about visualization. Visualization is a very powerful tool because it allows us to create any kind of experience in our mind. So we can practice thousands of thousands of times any kind of situation at any time, anywhere and as often as you want. And actually many people in the world are practicing that technique every day like chess players, pianists, some CEOs, basketball players, generals in the army. So some pianists will rehearse in their mind for hours and the same for chess players. And Napoleon used to use a lot of visualization even before he was in the army when he was still a student at school. He would visualize the battle in his head, imagine, imagining everything, every detail, calculating everything for hours and hours. Actually, in the 1960s, they made, they made an experiment. What they did is they divided students into three groups. One group was asked to practice free throws at basketball for 20 minutes a day for 20 days. One group was asked to not practice, not to practice at all, so no training. And one group was asked to practice, but only in the head. So they didn't actually throw the ball, they were just imagining themselves throwing the ball. And what they discovered after 20 days is that there was almost no difference between people who practiced in their mind and people who practiced uh, in their uh, for real. So you can see now how powerful is that technique. Personally, I haven't really dig into that technique yet, and I want to study more, I want to practice more of that technique every day. But I would like to share with you one thing I did in the past. So, I used to feel awkward when I was meeting teachers uh, at school, I'm now a student, and um, I would just say hi, but I couldn't really have any kind of conversation or ask some questions. I feel shy, I feel they were, because we were a teacher, they were above me. I couldn't really communicate well with them. So what I did is I Im imagined myself uh, bumping into them at school and they would uh, give me their biggest smile. And I would just open my hands, hug them, or say to them, high five, what's up bro, how you doing man? So all that kind of a thing. And I would actually say those words out loud in my apartment while visualizing the scene in my head. And what happened is when I actually met some teachers at school, I, uh, I couldn't say, what's up bro? I wish I could, but I couldn't say that. So I just say, hi. And then I ask one or two questions. And I didn't feel awkward. I didn't feel like I was shy. I was quite comfortable. And I had a small conversation with them. So it was very nice and I was very surprised. So um, what I would like you to do is to try it too. So maybe you have a business presentation this week or next week. Maybe you're going to meet someone you already met before this week. And you can practice in your mind, imagining yourself meeting that person and uh, saying to him or her, Hey man, how are you doing? High five, bro. Anything you want. And uh, uh, do it for several times. And uh, when you're going to meet that person, what is likely to happen is that you will be able to uh, connect instantly or connect easier with that person because your subconscious mind will believe that uh, you are friend with that person and that person will also feel that friendliness coming from you and will react in the same way towards you. So one more thing you could do is to pick up one goal and for five minutes every day, for a month, you visualize that goal in your head and act, visualize it as if you already accomplished it. And th think of how you would behave if you were the person you want to be, how would you uh, feel. And you want to add as many details as you can, you want to make it as real as you can. So if you have a good imagination, it's going to be very powerful. If you don't have a good imagination, like me, 
you're gonna need some practice, but you're gonna get better and better every day. And that's why I want also to practice that tool uh, myself. And I committing myself in this video to practice visualization for five minutes a day from today for a month. So as you understand now, visualization is a powerful tool because it allows you to um, reshape your self-image. It allows you to reach your subconscious mind and to reshape it. And to, it can be helpful to get rid of your limiting beliefs, for instance. So I highly encourage you to give it a try and to leave me a comment below and share with me any kind of result you get uh, with that technique. Thank you.